the Glock 30. Uh, a lot of you may know already that I bought this just recently because I bought it for uh, winter carry. Winter's coming up sometime soon. And uh, wanted something that was 45 ACP for concealed carry for the winter time. Now, I used to carry my uh, 1911s, but I've gotten to wear my nicer guns. I just want to keep them in the house. I don't want to take them somewhere where they're at risk of being damaged or confiscated or so I've separated my nice guns from my duty guns, and I wanted a duty gun that I could, not a duty gun, because I'm not on duty, but, you know, it's serving a fur purpose, it's a defense gun. So I uh, went out and got the Glock 30. And uh, I like it, I like it a lot, but, you know, I didn't like the big plate that's on the bottom of it here. Uh, this is not the original one, if you know, if you watch my other video, I changed this out to one that more matches the grip texture here. Now, I like that better than the original ugly plate that was on here, but it's still a little bulky for concealed carry. Now, I did not know, this is a 10 round mag, this is what it comes with. I did not know they made a nine round mag for this. Someone suggested I go get one. So I went out and picked up a nine round mag for it. And I'll tell you, it does make a huge difference. When you take out the 45 round mag here and put in the nine, man, it does make a lot of difference. Now you only lose one round, uh, you're going from 11 rounds to 10 rounds of 45. 10 rounds of 45 makes me feel pretty comfortable, so I would be okay carrying this like this. They also make a little pinky extension thing here for it. I don't know if it adds around or not, but I, I think I'll stick to this one because I can get a pretty good grip on this one even without the pinky extension. Uh, it does make it a lot smaller. Like if you remember before I compared it to side by side with the uh, subcompact, the G33 here, and it was much larger lengthwise. Now if you look at them, side by side lengthwise. It's not as big a difference now. Before it was a huge difference with that bottom plate in, so now it's a lot more similar. So if you ask me, uh, just changing that out to that made this gun a lot more carryable. So if you've got a Glock 30 out there somewhere and you think it's a little hard to carry because of that bottom plate, uh, if you're as dumb as me and you didn't know there was a nine round magazine for it, go get rid of this one, get you that nine magazine plate. It makes it much more like a subcompact gun and a much easier carry.